Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I know all members of the House join me in thanking every one of the thousands and of men and women who are working around the clock to protect Alberta from wildfires. Today, there are 15 <coughs> wildfires burning in Alberta, three out of control, one being held, eight under control, and three that have been turned over to local authorities. We currently have 1,919 firefighters on the ground, supported by 161 helicopters, 377 pieces of heavy equipment, and 29 air tankers. Madam Speaker, conditions today will make another extremely challenging day for our firefighters and emergency responders. Fire risks remain extreme across much of northern Alberta. Yesterday, a mandatory evacuation order in a state of local emergency was declared for the hamlet of Little Smoky in the MD of Greenview. A fire that was approximately 5 hectares at 1 p.m. yesterday is now approximately 800 hectares. Ten families and their pets were safely evacuated. Fox Creek Fire Department is arranging for livestock to be evacuated to the Valley View Agricultural Society grounds. That fire is being fought by 38 firefighters, 8 helicopters and 15 air tankers. Madam Speaker, inside Fort McMurray, firefighters continue to work on dozens of hot spots and uncapped gas lines. Outside the city, the wildfire is now more than 251,000 hectares and remains out of control. The fire is threatening key energy and transportation infrastructure, and some facilities self-evacuated yesterday, and protecting these assets <coughs> is our priority. There are 869 firefighters on scene with 46 helicopters, including five heavy units and 13 air tankers. Smoke and extremely poor air quality are a very significant concern at this time. This is impacting all, of, all our operations, firefighting air operations, our re-entry preparation work, including actions to begin restoration of essential businesses. The air conditions underscore the fact that Fort McMurray is not yet safe to return to. However, work is continuing toward making the city safe. Assessment teams have inspected almost 20,000 buildings, and close to 90% of those are structurally sound. Substantial progress has been made to restore electricity and the gas supply. However, the water supply is not yet safe to drink. At the hospital, general cleaning in the emergency room has been completed, and detailed cleaning of equipment and the HVAC system is underway. There are 400 people working around the clock in two shifts to restore the hospital. We continue to support Albertans who were forced to flee from their homes in the meantime. As of yesterday afternoon, the government of Alberta has issued more than 20, 27,000 checks or debit cards to support more than 58,000 people, totaling $60,536,900 million, $60 million in emergency financial assistance. We are working to help owners retrieve abandoned vehicles. This does not apply to all vehicles, but vehicles that were abandoned on Highway 63, Highway 881, or a major street in Fort McMurray are being towed to secure lots, and owners can make arrangements to retrieve them by calling 310-4455. Air quality conditions are disrupting our effort to retrieve abandoned vehicles, but we will continue this work uh, along with all of our other work as soon as it is safe to do so. On Saturday, we emailed evacuees a link to satellite imagery that provides some information about damage to neighbourhoods. Later this week, we will be providing Phase 2 images from aerial photography that will include a broader geographic area. These will give residents a clearer picture of the current state of their home. But Madam Speaker, these will be very difficult images for some people to see, and AHS has increased staffing at the Mental Health Helpline as a result. I want to stress that no one has to go through this alone, and there are mental health therapists available through the helpline, online, or at any of the 16 reception centres across Alberta. In all our actions, Madam Speaker, our first priority is always the safety of Albertans. And again, I extend this government's sincere thanks to every person working in extremely difficult conditions to get Albertans safely back to their homes. Thank you, Madam Speaker.